Hi everybody, it's Kelly with Eclectic Entries. I hope you all are somehow able to stay safe. I know that some of you are still having to go to work and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, I wish they would give you hazard pay. Um, uh, and this is going to be a general video blog, so a vlog update about what's going on here in Las Vegas and then some different thoughts that I have about the COVID-19 situation here um, and how it's impacting my life and my family's life. Uh, just, I don't know, sometimes it helps to talk these things out with other people just so maybe you can communicate uh, and see how everybody else is doing and vice versa and maybe not feel quite as alone, right? Being that the last few years of my life I have had continual spinal issues, I've had to spend a lot of time indoors anyway, so uh, this doesn't feel all that different <laughs> than the last four and a half years of my life. Um, I do have asthma, so I know that I'm in the higher risk category for this, plus I have chronic pain, um, and I live with somebody who is elderly and has Alzheimer's, and I live with a type 2 insulin dependent person uh, who's also a cardiac patient who's also older, so we have like a really high risk household. Um, which is why we're not really going out anywhere, which is why I am super happy that coincidentally, before all this started, we had already stocked up on a lot of things. Like we had gone to Winco and we're like, yeah, we should stock up on things because we have the money to do so. And then all this started to happen and I was like, shit. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> no, we weren't those a-holes buying 30 things of toilet paper. Um, special circle in hell for those people. Um, and also you all, if you're starting to buy out pads because there's no toilet paper, uh, just, there are no words. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's another story. My dad actually stood in line for a senior hour at the grocery store this morning at Smith's um, here in, in the Las Vegas Metro. And he was in line with like 300 other people. Okay. And they were only letting in 20 people at a time. And it was like 40 degrees outside in Las Vegas with overcast and damp and cold because we've had this looming moisture in the air. It was actually cold enough with enough moisture in the air, which in Vegas is a big thing because normally it's pretty dry. I could actually see my breath this morning when I was walking the dogs, which I know the rest of you are like, yeah, so what? No, but seriously, like in the dry desert, that's a, that's a big deal. That means it's cold and damp. So he was standing out there with all these other seniors in the cold, in the damp, in fairly close proximity in line to one another because that's totally not a bad idea or anything, which it is, um, for people to go ahead and uh, get what they needed. And then when he went in there, they're like, you can have one toilet paper pack, you can have one big thing of water, you can have two meat products. And he was able to go in and get some other things like dog food and stuff like that, but um, to make sure our dogs don't run out of food. But it was just so weird. <laughs> And I think only 20 or 25 people were allowed in the store at a time. And if people didn't look quite like they were old enough to be there for senior discount hour, they checked people's IDs. They were hardcore. <laughs> and I guess there's this dude who like stood out there and was like, listen up, people. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, thank God we live in Las Vegas where there's like hella people that have been bouncers, hella people that have worked security, hella people who are veterans, right? Because there are all these people who would definitely be like drill sergeant, kind of like, no, screw it around to like 300 people. <laughs> and you'd probably listen to them if you're not an idiot. Because um, you don't want to deal with LVMPD. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, that's been, that was weird. It was absolutely weird to have my dad um, have that story when he came back this morning. And of course, he, he showered and his clothes are in the wash and all that as soon as he got home from being around all those people. And, um, and what really sucks is a lot of these seniors have had to stand, stand in line, right? Because there's not as <laughs> So they're standing there for that long. And being that I have spinal issues where my legs sometimes are like, goodbye, <laughs> and things like that, I would just like 
Damn, that sucks. I had to stand in line for over an hour to vote um, in the primary here in Nevada. And uh, I was kind of out of commission the next day. I, I had to wear my brace and a cane in order to stand that long. And I, uh, uh, so I, I can't imagine being an older person and having to stand that long in the cold. And the other thing was, I was like, man, you don't want them to get sick. Why are you having them stand out in the cold? You know, but there's nowhere else for them to stand. So that's kind of the, the personal side of, of all of this. Um, plus, uh, there's somebody in my house with Alzheimer's. So I've had to, it's been, it's trippy to try and like uh, make sure somebody knows what's going on when they're going to keep not knowing, <laughs> right? Um, you know, kind of like, why do we only have this? Where are you going? Why can't we leave the house? You know, stuff like that. And, um, and so I've been using, um, the Alzheimer's association for like tips for caregivers to stay well and different things like that. I'll post the link in the description in case that somehow impacts you or somebody else, you know, who may have somebody, um, with them in their household who have Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, all those sorts of things. Um, please, please, please rely uh, on uh, news outlets such as the cdc.gov website, so the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention here in the United States, and the World Health Organization's website for updates. I find those to be fairly objective and um, fairly <laughs> and uh, and a lot less of a headache than having to sit and listen to cable news. Um, so. <laughs> I also found that the, um, the Department of Labor, so uh, www.dol.gov, um, also has a specific page for coronavirus. So if you've been negatively impacted because you've you know, been laid off or you know, you've lost work or maybe your business is, uh, you know, your small business is going to go under because of this stuff, that's all. They all have different um, resources for you to look at, and those are official government websites. <laughs> And please don't forget, they also usually have a Facebook or some sort of social media extension of that beside the website. So if you want to stay completely up to date, that's a really good way to do so. Um, if I'm using any news at all through the TV, I've been trying to rely on C-SPAN or checking C-SPAN's website and their programming because they have had live uh, hearings for where, when they've been deciding, you know, to give these different stimulus packages for um, different groups and in, in, in doing this whole thing. Okay, so sometimes that's interesting to watch, especially if you just need some kind of honestly boring background noise <laughs> when you're doing a jigsaw puzzle on the dining room table with your family or something. Like we just finished a jigsaw puzzle of Venice. Um, love you. Um, and, uh, and I'll be, I finished that with my family and I'll be starting another one. So we've been doing stuff like that in our house. We've been hanging around the dining room table a lot together not, you know, not going anywhere. Uh, and, uh, we have the luxury of not being able to, sadly, some people don't. And I'm so sorry if that's your situation. Um, I have some friends that I know still have to go to work. Uh, grocery stores are hiring. <laughs> I would be boom on that, but my spine is like, hi, no. Also asthma. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, damn it. Because <laughs> I want I want to work, man. It, it sucks. It sucks. I mean, I just got my master's degree and I'm trying to get into a doctoral program right now. But damn it, I like making money just like the rest of you. So anyway, on the more formal Las Vegas side of things, uh, things have been rough. As you can imagine, everything, everybody's having a hard time right now. I, I'm not trying to minimize anybody else's pain because, damn, I don't even know, right? But as far as what's happening here in Las Vegas, Nevada, it has just been, it's been bad. Uh, you you want to have an idea of how things are, are looking and shaping up for people. You, you go check out those live uh, street cams for the strip and stuff like that. It empty, okay? Because the Nevada, our governor, Steve Sisolak, did, I think, make the right decision as much as it sucked for the workers, um, to because of the money situation for the workers. Um, he decided that all casinos in Las Vegas have to close. Now, people think of things like, oh, you mean the Strip in downtown? And I'm like, yeah, and all the casinos around the towns, like Red Rock and all the different ones in Summerlin and and um, and all over in Henderson because there's casinos all over the metro 
Uh, I don't know if that necessarily includes them because they're part of the metro, but I do know that local casinos around where I am, like Molly's Casinos, which you have like little casinos in strip malls. Like I'm not joking, okay? <laughs> All over this metro and they're even closed. So um, I know because before this got really out of, like really out of control, we were uh, in the drive through for Duncan and there was a, we were driving past some things and then we saw that Molly's had a little paper thing on them. We're like, oh, it's closed. Um, my family doesn't really gamble, doesn't really personally affect our lifestyle as far as that goes, but it certainly affects people who work for them. Um, and probably people who use gambling as a form of stress management, which you probably shouldn't, but you know, whatever, everybody has vices. I'm just saying if you, if you, if you spend most of your paycheck, uh, or even half of it gambling, um, you, you might have a problem. I love you. Um, <laughs> speaking of such things, I know that there are several churches around town, including the one I go to that host different alcoholic anonymous uh, and different things like that. And a lot of those folks are being left high and dry, no pun intended at all, I love you, um, during some of the more stress, like some of the most stressful times. Um, I'm trying so hard not to touch my face because I'm a person who talks with my hands. Um, my hands are so dry because I have to keep like sanitizing and washing them. Ah! Um, that like, uh, th anyway, they, they meet normally, right? And these are some of the most stressful times for people who have different um, abuse or substance abuse issues, um, <laughs> people who have, are addicts of any kind, right? So like gambling, I'm going to be honest with you, sex, right? Especially here in Las Vegas. Um, but anywhere, <laughs> let's be honest, anywhere, uh, uh, alcohol, drugs. So um, in the interest of just promoting the visibility of that, know that uh, I know that at least Alcoholics Anonymous, and I know there are other ones undoubtedly that are not Christian based. Uh, I'm glad there's a variety um, for people that on their websites, please check the website of the organization you normally rely on because I know that they do have resources uh, usually that I've seen like posted, okay? So um, if, you're, if you're really uh, having a hard time because um, I can't imagine what that's like, and you need help. There's, I think some people are holding online meetings. There's different things you can watch. Um, go and go and do that for yourself if, as you're able. Okay, like take care of yourself, friend. Like I, I, that's a really serious thing. And um, just know that pe there's people like me, and I know there's got to be other people that are probably thinking of you and just being like, you know, this is stressful. <laughs> you can do this. Okay. Um, and uh, on that note, uh, just a lot of the self-care stuff that people normally make fun of and all that, um, and for good reason, it is a luxury, right? Let's be honest. A lot of self-care talk is luxury talk. It's, it's, it's rooted in a lot of uh, different, <laughs> different things that I'm not going to go into right now. Um, but, but seriously, I've been, I've been watching stuff like uh, – Monterey Bay Aquarium because I was born in Monterey, California. I spent time growing up in Salinas, California, <laughs> and then uh, the Tri Valley, and then Modesto, California. So like you know, like Central and NorCal, and uh, and so the Monterey Bay Aquarium has some great live cams that they've had open. There's including ones that are actually of the bay. They're having morning meditations. <laughs> I know, cute, right? And, and so they're like little 10 minute like meditations that are guided meditations you can do to help try and relax you, right? I've had my uh, aromatherapy diffuser going, not because essential oils are going to cure everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that it, it's, it, it's helpful because I notice for me that it helps with my stress relief. Um, so I have a blend that I know I'm not allergic to that I can use. Um, luckily, I also had quite a bit of those that I bought <laughs> recently too, um, before all this happened. And then right during too, I also stocked up on lavender Epsom salts because with, uh, with the weather being uncertain, as you see, it's gone from being cloudy to sunny. Um, my spine and all the metal, like tons of metal attached to it tends to hurt a lot. So I have to lay in something sometimes about once a week to try and sop out that pain it's so weird when you like lay in a bath full of like salt, like Epsom salts, and you can like feel almost like an electric shock feeling, like a current going through your legs or your lower back, and you're just like, 
this is fine. Everything's fine. You know, I mean, you'd be more alarmed if you didn't feel anything, which I've been there before too. Before my latest spinal fusion, yeah, I felt like I was walking on air. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I, oh, yeah, this is probably why I kept avoiding it because it makes me so sad. Uh, obviously there's been a lot of layoffs. I know that people losing their jobs or not being able to go to work is a very serious issue for everybody, um, all across the country and internationally, but especially here in the United States, uh, as insofar as that we are not exactly uh, ahead of the curve with like literally anything related to that and workers' rights anymore. Um, and haven't been pretty much my whole life. <laughs> I was born in 89. Um, 89 was a fairly good year <laughs> for everybody. Um, but uh, that was like, I know people who've been laid off. And it's, it's, see, I want to like, ugh, and I can't touch my face. Um, it's sad. It makes me so sad. Like it, again, rely on government sites like the uh, um, Department of Labor and stuff for your, for your information for that. Okay. Um, I don't know actually what's going to happen to the people that I know that are involved in that. As for some states saying they're going to provide rent and mortgage relief, I think that's now a federal thing as far as the you can't evict people maybe. I, I have to double check that. Please, again, check federal government and state government websites. Um, that I was thinking to myself, well, gee, that would have been useful like two years ago when my family got kicked out of our house because we couldn't make our payments. But it's fine. It's not like that was because of medical expenses, making it impossible for us to afford to live in the state of California, plus fixed income on a retirement, so screw us, which is totally not why we ended up in Nevada. Everybody thinks that everybody who moved here from California is some rich a-hole. I got news for them. Uh, no, some of us are just trying to not be homeless. Yeah. <sighs> The world isn't that cut and dried. People get used to it. Um, but yeah, it serves people. I kind of am salty. Okay, I'm not, not going to lie. I'm salty. I'm kind of like, you know, it serves you right. Fucking, excuse me, buying our house and then trying to flip it. <laughs> so part of me is like, I hope that your house flip fails because it's not our problem anymore. And screw you for trying to make a quick buck like that off of the backs of people like my family. I hate you. I try so hard not to hate people, but it's hard, right? Like, especially during this whole thing. Like, people going in and being like, I need 30 packages of toilet paper. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? And if you are, again, if you are starting to buy out women's hygiene products, like pads and shit for that reason, I really hope somebody just comes over and bleeds on you. And yeah, I don't recommend that, by the way. That's actually assault and a biohazard, so don't do that. But I'm just saying, like, you deserve it. <laughs> so, Kelly, that's nasty. Well, you know what? Maybe they should think about people other than themselves, especially those of us with uh, uh, biological functions that we cannot control, which, by the way, I don't think that people uh, should have to pay for um, products like that in the first place because it is a regular biological function for a lot of us, not all of us, um, regardless of um, gender. So, um, yeah. As you can tell, I'm just kind of all over the place today. But, you know, um, I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of it. I shared, I think, everything I want to at this point. Um, yeah, just... I think that's it. Uh, stay safe out there. It's it's crazy. Um, and I hate saying that because I don't usually like using that term. So it's just, it's intense out there. Um, try and be mindful about what you're consuming as far as the media. Um, I know that there's some cool video games that are coming out this weekend. I hope the internet can handle it. I know Animal Crossing was delayed. I hope that it's, it arrives so all of us can like be like, it's fine. Everything's fine. And be and playing that instead, right? I actually, one of my friends had to move out of UNLV early um, 
because they were they ended up actually uh, they left right before the school the university gave an order that everybody had to leave uh, by the 21st i believe so i'm glad that they were able to get back over state lines they were able to get their car brakes fixed when they got there and they were able to get groceries before the total lockdown order in california so um ah, scary I know that I'm going to be watching more media and reading more things and all that, but until then, uh, I don't know. I, I want to make more updates. Um, I keep on finding creative ways to try and empty my hard drive so I can like finally reinstall video editing software and um, and make actual like media videos um, more reliably for you all. Because it's been really bad lately because of that whole um, computer situation. I was going to order like a portable hard drive or an external hard drive, and it's like, surprise, all this stuff. And I'm like, well, maybe it's good I didn't order one. Right. So hell, I'm not ordering anything from Amazon right now. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I said this already, because again, it's kind of traumatic, all this stuff. Um, but yeah, be kind to your local businesses. Keep them in mind. I think um, I read some good things, like people saying stuff like, hey, if you can buy virtual business cards, do it. If you can find ways to support them in the meantime, do it. I think that taxes might be changing their due dates, but please do not take my word for it and go to the irs.gov and check, okay? Um, yeah, so that's it. That's Kelly. I'm sorry it was a rambly vlog entry. Um, I hope you had a nice spring slash, you know, vernal equinox uh, the other day. Hope your St. Patrick's Day, if you celebrated, was uh, some kind of balm for your soul in these weird times. And um, if you are continuing to drink or uh, do whatever stress management you can, like me and my my turmeric, uh, honey turmeric uh, tea, um, just please be safe, be responsible. Okay, take care of yourself as you're able. All right. And um, I'll be probably updating soon. Love you all.